One of the most exciting features in ES6 as far as functions are concerned is the ability to easily add default argument. I will insist on the word easily since we had creative ways of doing it before. So you might have seen code like this. So let's set up a function, my function. And let's say that this function is accepting two parameters, okay? And if we wanna make sure that it's set by default, so let's say if this doesn't exist, we want a value for those, and do something like this, let arg1 equals arg1, or the value one. Same thing for the second one, let argument two equals argument two or two. Then we can just log those out. Console.log arg1 and same thing for arg2. Actually I did it too fast so let's just redo it here for arg2. Okay so now if we call my fn without any argument Okay, I get undefined because I think I'm outputting the wrong value. It's underscore arg1. So let me just uh, use command k and go to the last command here. Actually, I want to rewrite this part and that's going to be underscore arg1 and underscore arg2. Actually, number two. There you go. Now, when we call my fn, we get one and two because we did not pass anything to it. If I do my fn three and eight, I get three and eight, okay? But there's something a little subtle but very wrong here. If we were to pass what are called the falsy values of JavaScript. So let's say I wanted arg1 to be zero and I just wanted a null value for arc2. So if I put zero and I put null, which, had, which are valid values, I still get one and two. Because this construct will uh, be true if we have those falsy values in JavaScript. So the falsy values of JavaScript as a reminder are zero, not a number, false, an empty string, null, and undefined. I think I got them all. So now, uh, the best way to make sure, I mean the ES5 way, uh, as far as ES5 is concerned, the better way that we had to make sure that all we wanted to do is set up like a default argument, even if false values are passed on, is we will just go ahead, let me do comment K again. And here, we're just gonna rewrite this function. And instead of looking at the value, we're just gonna look at the type, okay? So here, we will go with type of arg1 not equal to undefined which is a, which is actually what we really want to do and let's do the same thing for arg2 not equal to undefined okay Let's not forget the parentheses. And here, let's make sure it's arg1 underscore and underscore argument2. Now, with that, if we call 0 and null, what we're going to get here, okay, 
um, a little messed up here because <laughs> I'm putting an or um, a comparator here. Actually, what I want to do is this. Instead of or this time, we'll say if it is true, let it be arg1. And if not, let it be 1. Same thing here. If it is true, give it the value of arg2. If it is not, give it the value of 2. Okay. So when we do that, and I'm going to do command K again just to get some screen space, we get zero and null. If we don't pass anything this time around, we get one and two. So falsy values that can be valid values will not have a problem in this case. And um, if we don't pass anything to it, the default values that we just uh, put for those parameters will be will kick in okay so that would be the way that we would have done it with es5 but you would agree that imagine if we had like more many more arguments this becomes a little like verbose it becomes a little uh cumbersome so what we can do now with es6 is instead of doing all of that we will just take the logic directly here so we put the name of the parameters and we just give it the default value here right away. Equals one and equals two. And here, we'll take all this out. And we essentially have the same functional functionality again. So if we save this and we go with my fn, Okay, so this time around, it tells me that like it's not defined because here I'm using underscore arg1 and I was setting that up. So all we have to do, you gotta love live coding, is just replace this with the right um, uh, parameter name. So that this time around, we don't even need to do that little setup because I did not want any conflict with the let keyword. So let's do this and let's call it again. And here we get our default values. So let me save some screen space again. I put zero, I put null, and I get these values. I put whatever else, eight and hello, and I get those. So really, if we look at the construct again, this becomes very easy. So those default argument only gets called when um, this, what we did with like the type of becomes undefined. So when the type of is undefined, we just get like the, the default values that we have set up uh, to, to, to kick in, which is very convenient. So what happens if you explicitly pass in undefined um, I hope some of you guessed it right. So let's say we did something like this. Undefined. Undefined. Actually, it's the same as if we did not pass any parameters because this will trigger the default argument. It's, it's good to know that if we explicitly like pass in undefined to something that expects default parameters, that it will trigger those default parameters.